Okay, here's how they all look together in vehicle mode. Fully armored up, too. They look pretty nice like this. Okay. And here they are in robot mode all together. They look pretty good all together like this. Now let's take a closer look at <laughs> Now, let's put them in. Let's put them in. Put them in. Okay, here is what Minasaur looks like before I do customizing. As you can see, I have the upgraded hands and feet, which the feet do help a lot with the stability of the toy. Is what their backside is. Of course, you have to make sure. It really does help to make sure those pegs stay plugged in. Here's what the backside looks like before customizing. <laughs> okay, here he is in Minnesota mode without the chest, me the chest pod. Now let's get the chest minion. And here's how it looks with the chest minion. Or bot. And here's how the back looks. The sword can actually be put tilted that way <laughs> but I kind of like it that way
That's how the back looks now. You can see that's the port for the to hold the sword. There's a little prong there. Put the sword in his hand. How, this is how it looks with the sword. Plus, If you have the small shock wave, you can put put it in in the hand, and now he can be firing shock wave. Although, yeah, since the legs there are kind of loose, it is better to be put in that hand. And that's what that's the main problem that that I haven't fi completely fixed. I did solve it a little bit by putting some scotch tape on there, and it does hold it more securely. But as you can still, as you can see, it does still it come off. But not as easily or as often without it. And that's Minasaur. Fully upgraded. Thanks for watching.